right there. As soon as I lift this up, cross over, and knee slide, he's got to post that hand. That's one less thing touching me. When I pressure back into him, I like to grab either four fingers or a wrist. If you're going to grab a wrist, you've got to get this hand away. If you don't get the hand away, grab my wrist. Then he's going to grab my wrist, and now I've got to turn the opposite way, which makes it harder for me. I've got to block it off first, do something with this hand. Take it out. He doesn't get it back until I let him have it back. And I don't want to get in that position to begin with. So I either have four fingers or a wrist. I'm going to put it down into my opposite back pocket. I'm going to pressure back in them. It's tectonic plates. Two plates that touch each other cause a what? Mountain, look at you, world geography. And I'm going to back pressure. So be stuff be tight here. Back pressure, back pressure, back pressure, back pressure. Where's my other foot? Right underneath my butt. Right beneath my butt. I'm pressuring back into him. If I'm like this and I pressure back, just move. He just moves, I fall right down. I never want to be on two butt cheeks. Drive me out. See how that's going to work? Back pressure. If he moves down, now move. Why didn't I fall down? Because my foot is underneath my butt, so I'm in better position. If I keep this, his arm is only so long. Is your arm getting any longer? No. No, how's. Is this comfortable? Not really. Why not? Because it's stretching. Yeah, how's your shoulder feel? Tight. Tight. Do something. Wrestle me. <laughs>